Right, you guys, got another mini PC here for you. This is the Mini S. It's an affordable Windows 11 budget mini PC for people that don't want to splash £600 or £1,000 for a mini PC. This one retails at around about £165 to £175. Inside the box, you're going to get your user manual. This is going to have color pictures and also English text and other languages in here to help you set up your mini PC. You're going to get the mini PC itself. The outer casing is made of plastic. As you can see, cutbacks have been made to keep the cost down. Now, the processor is an Intel Celeron N5095, which does have four cores, four threads. It's 11th gen processor. We also have storage, either 512 or 256, maximum up to two terabytes. It does support Wi-Fi 5 on here, and we also have DDR4, maximum capacity 16 gigabytes of RAM. It is on a single module, and this one come with eight gigabytes. So if you want to upgrade, you can only upgrade to 16 gigabytes on a single module, which will run at 2400 megahertz. It does come with Windows 11 Pro. So who is this mini PC for? If you're running office applications like Adobe Premiere, Photoshop, Illustrator, and office applications, like Excel, Word, and things like that, then this mini PC is going to be for you. This is everything you're going to get inside the kit here. You're going to get your adapter, your mini PC, your two HDMI cables, your wall mounting bracket or monitor mounting bracket, and also some screws here. So the actual adapter itself is just one of these small little adapters, so you could easily replace these if this one packs up. It's got a barrel connector on the end of it, and this one comes with a UK plug on it. But if you're in another country, it will come with your plug of your choice for your country. The actual mini PC itself is made of plastic. On the front, we have a clear CMOS and two USB 3.0 ports on here. And we also have an headphone input here and a power button on here as well. We have some ventilation on both sides. So one on this side and we have one on the other side. And then moving on to the back of the unit itself. Again, we do have some exhaust fan here. Two HDMI 2.0 ports on here, which support 4K. We have our power input, our Kenston lock, our Ethernet port, which supports one GPPS, and also two more USB 3.0 ports. And on the bottom, we have that mounting area for our bracket. We also have room for an extra hard drive or SSD, which is going to be 2.5 inch with 7 millimeters of thickness. Also in there, you can see we only have one RAM module, which is an eight gigabyte in here, but it goes up to 16 gigabytes. And we also have our NVMe drive in here as well. Wi-Fi 5 is on this one and also Bluetooth 4.0. The chip is a Jasper Lake processor, which is the 11th gen Jasper Lake processor, which turbos up to 2.9 gigahertz and four megabytes of cache. So let's go ahead and put this all back together and then we can do some benchmarking. So the Night Raid benchmarks come to 2738, which is using the Intel UHD graphics. So don't expect to see massive scores on uh, graphics because it's just not designed for that. Now I run a more lightweight type of benchmark here because it's not really meant for Time Spy and other things like that. So I run Ice Storm Extreme and it got 23,080, as you can see here. Now people always complain about the cost of these mini PCs being 500 to a thousand pounds well this one is only 165 to 175 pounds which makes it very affordable the bios is unlocked as you can see here you get access to the bios and you can make changes in your bios but again with it being such a lightweight system you're not going to be doing major overclocking and things like that on this sort of uh mini pc but it does give you access to the bios and it is unlocked now to play 4k movies you can do that with the 140 mbps 4k ultra hd 10-bit uh, file i played this and i tried to drag it to see whether it would catch up very easily and as you can see it handled that 10-bit file very very easily it can also do 4k playback on here as well which means you can play all your favorite 4k movies and you can also stream 4k straight off of youtube no problem at all with this particular mini pc so it's going to be right up there for people that just want to use it for surfing the web 4K playback on your movies, streaming content on YouTube, and maybe doing a bit of photo editing with Photoshop, and maybe some light 1080p video editing as well. Now, you can also play some lightweight games like retro games and things like that as well, and you can uh, get some enjoyment out of it 
playing some games from also the Windows Store. So you can be able to go there and download some of those games and play them. Now, when I try to play Dirt 4, I had to play this at 720p. And also I put Virtual Sync on and I left some of the other settings as they are, as you can see here. I wanted to show you this just so you can understand that it wasn't really designed to play AAA listed games or games of this caliber. Now I'll put this onto medium settings here just to see whether it can handle it. And then we'll click yes here. Now you can probably tweak this and manage 720p with some settings on here. And you can see some of these are set to medium here. And I wanted to show you what it was like to play this sort of game on this little mini PC. So when running Dirt 4 at medium settings, 720p, you'll see there's a little bit of warping going on. And there's also a little bit of skip miss, miss frames here. And that's just normal for a particular type of mini PC like this. It wasn't really designed for this sort of gameplay. And you can see here there was a little skip there and also a little bit of warping going on. But that's pretty normal for this particular type of processor and this type of GPU setup in the mini PC. Now, where this little mini PC excels is when it's playing things like GIMP or Photoshop or doing some sort of uh, 4K playback, it can handle these tasks very easily and uh, you should have no problem at all. Now it does take a while to load GIMP up and this is pretty normal because it is quite a heavy loaded program to load up. But I wanted to show you exactly what it's like once it's loaded up. It is very easily to use this program with a mini PC like this. You could easily fo do photo editing and things like that with this particular type of program. Once it's loaded in, the resources are there and also the temperatures for the little system are running at a pretty low temperature. You do get some really good low temps on this and it is only a 15 watt TDP on this CPU here, which is absolutely awesome. So here we have GIMP opened up here and I wanted to show you the opening process so you can actually get a general idea of what it's like to run a program like this on this little mini PC. Now, of course, if I was going ahead and doing some Photoshop here, you would be able to use this no problem at all here, as you can see here. It's not jerky or anything like that. It's pretty smooth and stable, uh, as you would expect for this little PC here. So use the PC for exactly what it's designed for. Don't try to push it beyond what it can do, because that's when you're going to have issues with little mini PCs like these. Now, when using this computer under general use, like Photoshop and things like that, you're going to see temperatures exactly like this around about 67 to 69 celsius which is pretty normal and a maximum of 82 celsius here is what i reached on this little mini pc here now i didn't have any thermal throttling issues or anything like that the only time i got a little bit of thermal throttling was when i was playing uh, dirt 4 which was pushing it beyond its capabilities but other than that it's a pretty decent pc so for all those people who keep complaining about really expensive uh, mini PCs, I think B-Link have offered you an option here for a very cheap and affordable price at £165 or £175, depending on which model you buy. So I think B-Link have done a pretty good job at trying to get into the budget end of things as well to give everyone a chance to own a mini PC, just like this one. So not a bad budget mini PC. If you're not into gaming and you just want to use it for media purposes and other things like Photoshop and stuff like that, then this little mini PC should do you just fine. I'll leave all the information and links in the video description. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Special shout out to Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Welsh Tony One, Albert Houston, Geo Sam, Jedi Buddhist, Bill's Computer Repair, and Mal Sierra. I really do appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from biotechcomputers.co.uk. Have a lovely day and I'll sure catch you in the next one. Bye for now.